Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zoratustra and broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. And uh, today we're going to be talking about relationships. So it's uh, something I haven't talked about for a long time, and we're going to get into that in details. Subject of relationship has been very well discussed. Uh, throughout the years by so many different people. And uh, this, this is a good one, talking about relationships. And when I dug into it and investigated deeper, uh, the deeper I went into it, the more I realized that there's really only one relationship and that's all there is and everything else any other relationship it's it appears it's an appearance that you have these different relationships with different people uh, especially a lot of times we're referring to relationship as a romantic relationship. And uh, to somebody that we're romantically attracted to, or maybe sexually attracted to, or there's some kind of energy or vibe is happening. Basically, we're referring to a romantic relationship, something emotional. And uh, of course, there's all kinds of different relationships. You know, you have a relationship with your mother or father or kids. Uh, you have a relationship with your best friend, your, your co-workers or your cat or dog. Um, but quite often when we talk about relationship, we're referring to romantic relationship quite often. That's the general thing. Again, as I said, that's not the only thing, of course. Uh, there's millions of different relationships uh, to different things, where you live, your town, the weather, the vegetation. Uh, so, but the romantic relationship, I start with that one, okay? Just to get that one out of the way and be clear about it. And, uh, it's something that appears and disappears. It's got a duration. And um, normally it doesn't last for a lifetime. And back in the day, you would experience these long-term romances or love relationships. Uh, in this day and age, as time has, it appears, again, it appears that it has speeded up and everything is the takeout. Everything is like you call for a pizza and it gets delivered to you. Or you drive through in America and you go to Starbucks and you pick up your uh, coffee or your Burger King or whatever, it's a drive-through relationship. And everything is fast and quick. It's like boom, 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 boom. And um, there's very little patience or tolerance in the romantic relationships these days uh, for a number of different reasons. But the main part of it is the fact that time appears to have Ex exhilarated and it's going faster and the era of technology the digital world has made a lot of things available and the news travel very fast almost instantly and uh, so because of all these electromagnetic frequencies in the air and the fact that you can get information instantly about people and communicate with them versus 
back in the day that, and it wasn't very far away. I mean, we're talking about 80, 90 years ago, up to maybe 1940, 1930, 1940. Uh, I mean, radio existed, but you had to, let's say 100 years ago in 1920 or early 1900, you had to go to the center of the, the city, the center of the town. So if you lived in Gothenburg, if you lived in Stockholm or Oslo or Trondheim, you, people would gather and go to the center of the city or the town where you could exchange things, you know, somebody would come from some village or about 20, 30 kilometers away and they would bring a goat and they were going to exchange their goat for some um, silver or some, some wool or people would bring their products or what they wanted to exchange to the center of the town and they would bar there with each other and exchange things. And in that place, they would also exchange information. Oh, what's going on in your province? You know, and say, oh yeah, we had a flood or we had a drought or we had a bad, bad season or we had a great season of agriculture or whatever news you had to travel with you and it would go very slow. So same as your relationships, because the wheel was turning or it appeared to be turning slowly. So as a result of that, you wouldn't have a lot of choices. Your, your choices were a lot less. So if you lived outside of a capital city a hundred years ago, you know, you're basically in a village type in, you know, in comparison to today's standards and your choices were very limited. And most people, they were born in the same place. They would grow up, work or go to school if, they, if there was any school and would follow their parents' footsteps and, and their trade and would marry in the same area and would just live there. People didn't travel very much. It wasn't a trend, merely because it wasn't convenient. It was very difficult. Traveling was like a major thing and it was dangerous and uh, had a lot of uncertainties in it. So, so same as relationships. Your choices were a lot less and therefore your mind was not so occupied by so many different choices that you had. Same as you walk into a supermarket today and, and uh, you're walking through the aisles and let's say you want to buy um, ketchup and there's like five different brands or you want to buy mustard or you want to buy olive oil and there's like 50 different bottles of olive oil. So back in the day, there, may, there were one or maybe two, maybe. So now you have so many choices and it's fast. And also because everything has speeded up, you want things now, right away. I want it now. So when it comes to shifts, from something that would form very slowly, like a relationship, 